What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Like, three-ish months or so. As you can see, I've been, uh, busy. Went from just the A8 to an anticubic delta, both of which have been used to the point where I've had to replace about everything. <laughs> That's waiting on a new throat. I wore the P P uh, PTFE liner. That'll be here Tuesday. Working on a badge for my dad. For, uh, let's see, that's gonna be a United Automotive Group badge. But anyway, whole reason you guys are here, probably, if you see by the title, uh, I'm going to start properly, well, semi properly documenting the build log of my big printer. That guy. That frame is 725 millimeters dead way, 840, I believe it is, upright, and 680 dead way. Uh, originally, it was going to be the hypercube design, and then it was going to go to CBOT, and now I am reconfiguring the design to go with a DBOT style, uh, which seems to have the best of all worlds and uh, best scalability. Uh, the only difficulty is, being I am using 4040 extruded, those top rails there need to get put on. I just cut those. Um, yeah, everybody has done a D-Bot in 2020, 2040, 2080. It seems nobody has done one in 4040. So all the part files out there don't work. And you can't exactly just say, hey, I'm going to scale this file 200%. Because then your bolt patterns and such sort of scale equally. So you have to modify every file, which is where I'm currently sitting at. Uh, what I haven't got put together right now, for example, I just have Z motors put in kind of roughly. I haven't decided if this is going to be front to back or if that was going to be front to back hit. Um, all right, form rambling. Well, yeah, we got parts and parts and more parts and stuff I'm not going to use now because it changed to the DBOT, which doesn't need, for example, the guide rails because the extruded becomes the guide rails. Uh, yeah, okay, so current parts list. Obviously, 4040 extruded. I have NEMA 17 steppers for all axis. Uh, there's your X and Y. Uh, that was going to be the extruded or the extruder motor, but uh, I ordered a Bontech extruder yesterday or this morning, this afternoon. I don't know what time it is right now to make a reference to when I did it. Uh, sometime yesterday. Um, so that is actually going to just be a spare because I also have a pancake motor coming for the Bontech. Oh, we have clone, uh, Ether dv 6s because I'm not rich and don't have tons of spare cash. So, yeah, for, for now, it is the clones with the old style. I uh, got heater cartridges from Repcord on Amazon. Great guy, Pooch. Uh, GT26, uh, fiber reinforced. Uh, let's see, won't be needing those since I don't have the guide rods. All the printer parts that I won't be needing because I'm not using guide rods. Don't need the carriages I designed because they won't work with the D-Bot style. 
Uh, let's see, we have a LED controller for lighting and stop switches, which I may switch over to optical switches. I just gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna mount everything yet, anyways. Um, we have, what is it, the DDR2285, I think the numbering and stuff is, drivers. Ramps 1.4. Uh, I actually have both a 500 watt 12 volt and a 500 watt uh, 20 volt, 24 volt power supply. I'm not sure which I'll be using. Probably. It depends if I can get the stuff to do a heated bed or not. Uh, or what extruder setup I'm going to go with. I might switch it up to uh, volcanoes. In which case I'll go with a 24 volt just so I can get less amperage, same power. Uh, let's see, those are the original stepper drivers that come with the ramp board, which I won't be using. Uh, spare parts. Those gotta go in that. Uh, BL Touch, which actually I ordered a second one of those today also to go onto the Anycubic. Um, it's only a thirteen hundred dollar skimmer. I don't have hooked up. Uh, we have the GT two belt pulleys that probably I'm um, undecided if they're going to be used. I might go with a larger pulley just to go with a. Uh, it's a word I'm looking for. Larger radius. Less wear and tear on the belts, but it is fiber reinforced, so that really shouldn't be an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get to these rails mounted tonight. I'm um, still trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to do a bed and print surface, cause well, it's gonna be large. I'm looking at at least a 500 by 500 bed with upwards of 700, 750 millimeters of Z height. Um, so that's kind of where I'm stuck at at the moment. I need to get some more extruded so I can do the actual platform itself, uh, which will, which I mean, the, the uh, D-Bot style lends itself pretty easily to construction, but I don't want to do more of the 4040 extruded due to weight. Because once you get up that pile, I'm looking about almost a six or eight pound carriage itself if I do it in 4040. I'd much rather do it in 3030. 2020, I'm a little leery on at that size, but it will be uh, build platform with a piece of probably half inch MDF on it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody like BuildTech makes a surface that large, especially if I wanted to do a flex plate, for example. They, they just don't go that big. So, I mean, maybe BuildTech wants to do something custom to show off what they can do, but. That's, that's, that's on them. <laughs> um, oops. Got a notification to cut my camera off. Um, but yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to help maybe sponsor this build of some sort, it would be amazing. So there's a lot of potential I can do with this, but eventually I run out of money. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of new tech coming out that I'd love to get my hands on. I, I originally wanted to go with a Duet Wi-Fi board. It's two hundred dollars, especially with my first build. That's that's a lot if I screw something up and fry the board. <laughs> um. 
I mean, I'm, I'm springing for the Bontech extruder because being a large printer, it's definitely going to eat filament. So I need some, a reliable feed source. Um, yeah, it's been too long since I made a video. Way too many ums. Yeah, I need a reliable feed source, so I definitely sprung for the Bontech extruder. Got that from Matter Hackers. This ordered today. Uh, hopefully, I didn't accidentally remove the carbon fiber PTG from my cart from Matter Hackers when I placed that order today. Uh, I had ordered a or put in a lot more filament than I really had thought of. And I deleted a few things, and hopefully that wasn't one of them, because I want to reprint all these brackets in the carbon fiber PTG. The This is Filamentum ASA, and unfortunately due to the shrinkage, which I didn't account for, and then I'm out of it, uh, the screw holes aren't quite where they should be. So I'd like to have carbon fiber P yeah, carbon fiber PTG to reprint those. So I gotta get that. Uh, which means for the A N eight eight, I gotta get I do believe I ordered some a couple of hard nozzles for that. So yeah, I got four brackets I gotta replace. I have to uh, get the DBOT files and modify the X and Y carriages to fit the 4040 extruded, or my other option is to go to Open Builds and get to their uh, V wheel gantry setups. But again, that's that gets pricey when you need four of them at 40 bucks each. When I can print them. <laughs> or since I work in a machine shop, even find some of the sheet metal to make them. But uh, yeah, so this is video one of the huge DBOT project that I haven't named yet. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys want to hit me up, hit me up on Twitter, 3D Reefer. Uh, let's see, I'm on Facebook, but that's not a whole lot 3D printing related. That's pretty much just on my Twitter. So, yeah, hit me up in comments. Anybody wants to help out with sponsorship, ideas, code. Anything of the sort, I'm open to suggestions. Let me know. Later.